Let's briefly go over what each of these peptides does. So BPC-157, I've done multiple videos on this peptide. Think localized recovery. What is it? It's a fragment derived from a naturally occurring protein in the body. It's been studied for its role in tissue protection and repair. So what's interesting about BPC-157 for injuries is that um, is its association with tendon, ligament, muscle, connective tissue support. So in preclinical research and in rodent data, again, the, the, the human data in these are limited, which is why I always say consult with your doctor. It has been shown to influence angiogenesis. That's the formation of new blood vessels. So this matters because areas like tendons, ligaments, they suffer from poor blood supply, which slows the healing. For acute injuries, let's say just injure a certain body part, improved circulation can support the early stages of repair. For old nagging injuries, which a lot of you may have, maybe you hurt something in high school and it gets cold outside and it, it just acts up. Like I can tell the weather with aches and pains. So this may help restart the healing process that stalled a long time ago. So many people associate BPC-157 with improved mobility, reduced discomfort, and better tolerance to rehab-focused training when combined with smart load management. That doesn't mean you start taking BPC-157. Let's say you hurt your knee or your hip and you start squatting 500 pounds. Be smart about it. This needs to be combined, I will say again, with proper rehab techniques.